Hello everybody, uh, now it's time again to tie another fly. Uh, actually today I'm gonna focus on saltwater flies and uh, in fact uh, tying uh, the toad. Hello doggy! Um, but the, the interesting part is I'm gonna use a new hook. It's a, a new hook from RX, a blue water hook. It's called SA270. Um, I'm gonna start on a 2 hook and then also tie on a 3 hook. Um, I'm gonna try them when I go to Belize in, in May. <coughs> Looks really, really good, thick goods, uh, and also sh very, very sharp. Uh, so exactly what you want when you fish for, for tarpon. Um, yeah, so let's continue. I attach the, the hook to the vines. Yeah, let the autofocus uh, do its work. So, first of all, I added some thread to the, to the hook. Uh, this one is actually going to be weighted, so I'm going to add a small eye here. So, and the thread I'm using is a GSP 60 thread. So, I'm just going to make sure to attach it properly. That should be sufficient. Little bit of glow. Let me see if I can get some better focus. I don't think so. Too much light. Let me try. I think that's better. So I want it to be fluorescent pink, black and fluorescent pink. So going backwards. I have some uh, marabou. So let me just pair them properly. Tying it in firm because it's going to get a lot of beating. Uh, tarpon is quite aggressive. And there we are. So I like to use just a few strands of uh, crystal flash. So let me tie that in and then fold them to the other side, tie them in properly. And I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cut the left over a little bit. It's a bit too long. So. Then we have the net next step. I'm gonna tie in the rabbit. So rabbit sunker and tie it in properly. Secure it. So I just gonna bind and fold. Folding it, the, the fur fibers backwards. I don't need too much. 
actually I think we're gonna redo that starting back here actually I think that's sufficient. So I'm gonna lock that one with the thread. There we are. Then just cut the sunker away, the leftover sunker. Fold everything backwards, tie it in properly. I'm gonna prepare this uh, fiber. So I'm gonna cut it in short sections actually much longer than they need to be uh, just so I can cut them afterwards when I tie them in in the way I like the shape to be first bundle of many but we need to tie it in and secure it can take the next one As you see, I'm working with the thread in between and over just to tie them in the bundle. And this pink fiber is very, very fluorescent. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's useful when fishing for tropical species.
And I'm gonna add one more in the front when ready. There we are, so taking the last one. Just making sure to tie it in, secure it. There. there, I think we are pretty much done. I'm just gonna build up a little bit with thread here. And then I'm gonna use a fluorescent pink varnish on top of it. Securing the thread. And before doing anything, as you see, I tied it quite wide. So now I need to uh, just cut off uh, the sides. So let me move this one out of the picture. shape I want. Let me see if we can get some focus here. There we are. So that's how I tie my toes. So now we, you know, we have movement and all those kind of components together. So I will uh, show the picture when it's uh, properly finished with the varnish and everything. So that's basically how I tie my uh, toes uh, for tarpon fishing, and uh, I just do it. Uh, 
yeah, different color combination, you know, black purple, black pink, chatteras, yellow, etc. Easy fly to tie, uh, effective to fish for tarpon and, and other predated fish in the tropical uh, waters. So, yeah, yeah I'm gonna add the uh, uh, subscribe uh, button to, to uh, this site here and also other uh, videos uh, if you like to watch more. So, uh, please subscribe, uh, please hit the bell button, uh, thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I'm doing and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye